Hello there, welcome to my channel. I'm Yang. In our today's video, we'll learn how to form a yes or no question in Mandarin and how to answer it properly. First, let's make it clear. A yes or no question is a question that you can answer with yes or no in English, such as, are you French? Yes, I am. Do you go to school tomorrow? No. So, all right. In Chinese, the, there are three types of yes or no questions, and the answers are different based on what types of question you get. Now, I'd like to show you a scenario first, and then we'll get started to learn how to form a question and how to answer it properly. Okay, let's get started. Take a look. 你是中国人吗? 是,我是中国人。你是韩国人吗? 我不是,我是中国人。The first type of yes or no question is subject plus 是 plus a noun plus 吗? 是 here means is, am, are. So for example, you may heard 你是中国人吗? 你是中国人吗? 你 is the subject. You. 是. Is am are. 中国人. Chinese people. 吗? Is a, just a question mark. So, are you Chinese? 你是中国人吗? And next one. 你是韩国人吗? 韩国人. Korean. Are you Korean? 你是 韩国人吗? The answer is simple. Yes or no. Yes is 是 是. No is 不是 不是. So, yes, I'm Chinese. 是 我是中国人 No, I'm not Korean. I'm Chinese. 不是 我不是韩国人,我是中国人. Now let's move on. Have a look at what they're talking about next. The second type of yes or no question is subject plus verb plus a noun, plus ma. To make it easier for beginners, we're talking about the simple present tense and future tense here. So for example, from the dialogues, you may heard 你吃面包吗? 你, subject, you, 吃, to eat. 面包, bread. So 你吃面包吗? Do you eat bread? 你喝咖啡吗? 喝 to drink. 咖啡, coffee. Do you drink coffee? 你喝咖啡吗? 明天你去北京吗? 明天, tomorrow. 去, to go. 北京, the capital city of China. Are you going to Beijing tomorrow? So this is a question. And how to answer with that? First, if it's a yes, a formative answer, you can repeat the subject and verb. Object can always be omitted. So, for example, 你吃面包吗? Yes, I do. 我吃 I eat 我吃 我不吃 我不吃 I don't eat. Next question. 你喝咖啡吗? 你喝咖啡吗? Do you drink coffee? 我喝 I drink. 我不喝 I don't drink. And also you can make the full sentence like 我不喝咖啡. 明天你去北京吗? Are you going to Beijing tomorrow? Yes. 我去. I'll go. 
我不去 I won't go. Great. Now you know most of the yes no questions, and I believe you know also how to answer with them. There is only one last tab we need to continue with, so let's check it out. This cup is beautiful. Very beautiful. This bag is expensive. Not expensive. This bag is fifteen dollars. In the dialogues. They used this kind of sentence structure: subject plus adjective plus ma. So, for example, 这个杯子漂亮吗？这个杯子 this cup. 个 is the male word for cup. So, this cup, 漂亮 pretty or beautiful. Is this cup pretty? 这个杯子漂亮吗？ And another question from the dialogue is, 这个包贵吗？这个包 this bag 贵 expensive. Is this bag expensive? The answers to this kind of questions are: if you want to say yes, then subject plus adverb of degree plus adjective. So, 这个杯子漂亮吗？这个杯子很漂亮，很 very 漂亮 pretty. This cup is very pretty. Pay attention. The adverb of degree is necessary when there is an adjective in a sentence. 很 means very, and also sometimes we just need it to conform to the rule. So we often hear Chinese people say, 你怎么样？ How are you? 我很好 which means I'm fine. I'm good. So 很 is necessary, but it doesn't really mean very here. The negative answer to this kind of questions, the adjectival question is, 不 plus adjective. So 这个包贵吗？这个包贵吗 Is this bag expensive? No. 不贵，不贵 ，not expensive. 这个包十五块钱 ，it costs fifteen yuan. Pay attention. It's very common to omit subject in the answers since we both know what we are talking about. Okay, this is today's video. Hope you find it helpful. And if you like the video, please subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.